It's important to me that, that I'm able to share this topic because of what it's done for my life and what it's doing for many people's lives. We're all living in this pandemic that's going on that's out of our control. These businesses that are going out of businesses and people that are losing their jobs and careers that are completely shut down now, 100% out of control and it sucks. Can I say it sucks? It sucks. It is what it is. However, there's a lot of lessons that are going to come through this. I have lost everything multiple times. When I see these people going bankrupt, my heart knows exactly what their heart feels because I've been there. I've done that. I made tremendous wealth in the salon industry. You've heard all your eggs in one basket. I've had all my eggs in one industry. I never thought the hair industry would get rocked. Like right now, the hair industry is getting rocked. It breaks my heart for my stylists that have gone on to own their own salons and I'm watch, I know what's happening to them. I know what's happening to all of them. It's terrible. And I learned a big lesson when I went through that about having all my eggs in one basket. Then I got started in network marketing and I did the same thing. I quickly climbed to the top of a company, made tremendous wealth into the millions all over again, and went bankrupt again overnight because I had all my eggs in one basket, again, in one industry, in one business. And then I started again in another company and I had the same thing happen to me again. I climbed quickly in that company, had all my eggs in one company, and then again when that company got rocked, I got rocked. And that's the thing, is sometimes your industry gets reinvented because of the way the world is trending and changing so fast. My first network marketing company was back in the day when people paid for long distance when you paid money to call your neighbor that was just a couple blocks away. It just it doesn't exist anymore because technology evolves the way we do business and it makes things faster, easier, and more affordable. And, and that's just life. And when the crashes came each time and I crashed and I rebuilt, it made me learn lessons. We all learn when we go through things. So I want to share my lessons with you today I have many businesses and I'm going to talk about all those businesses. If you're somebody who doesn't know what they're going to do, they live on one paycheck, they need to make money now, they don't know how to go out and what their next move or step is going to be, I want to paint you a picture. From the last time I went what I call bankrupt, when, when I had to reinvent my life again, has only been four and a half, five years since I started my rebuild journey. And this time I did it completely differently than I did it the other times because I did not want to have all my eggs in one basket. I made it a mission to become diversified, to have multiple streams of income so that I could have stability, so that if and when another crash came, or another industry was reinvented, or another business closing that I had no control over, it wasn't going to take everything out from underneath me, if, that, if you know what I'm talking about. So what I want to do with you first is I want to, I want, and feel free to draw this out with me. You like this chair? It's pretty cool, huh? One thing that I learned really young in life is how money is made. It's important to understand why I won't ever work a job, and ever is a very indefinite, and there's a reason. I, I will not ever go take a job that pays me an hourly wage. A job that pays you an hourly wage is not something you should do for a lifetime. It's something you do temporarily to pay the bills and make a little bit of money while you figure out how you're going to create multiple streams of income on the side of what you do. See, back in the day of our parents and our grandparents, they made it in life on one paycheck, on one stream of income. My parents both did. My father worked for the telephone company. My mother worked for the banking industry. They both put in 40-something years. They both had one paycheck. 
They both had 401ks, IRAs, retirement plans, stock options, and all that stuff that doesn't exist anymore today. In today's time, the average lifespan of a job is not 40 years, it's four years. That's why people can't retire like our parents and grandparents used to be able to retire because they're working on hourly wages, they don't have stock options, they don't have retirement plans, they don't have 401ks, and they don't have IRAs. And what's happening right now in the world is gonna completely change all that and make it even harder. It breaks my heart when I look at these people who are fighting to keep their job. They're working the hardest days of their life for the longest hours they've ever worked to make it through this pandemic that's happening, when they come out on the other side, if they still have their job, they're gonna feel so blessed and grateful that they're in that position, when in reality, it's not a good position to be in. Because that job is gonna be the hardest working thing they've ever done, and it's not gonna pay them more money for a very long time. It's gonna take these businesses a long time to be able to come back to business get things flowing, make enough money to pay back all that money that they were loaned and that they borrowed, and then to get ahead enough where they can start even paying people what they used to make. Then put on raises on top of that, it's a long time away. We live in a time where people have to learn how to make multiple streams of income. So that's what I wanna share with you. First, I want you to understand how money works, okay? If you've never read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I want you to get it. Go to Amazon and order it right now. It's by Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This is called the cash flow quadrant. This side of the, this is how money moves. I'm gonna show you how money moves. And I wanna tell you, I want, I want you to hang on with me through all this for one reason. I'm gonna show you how all of this tied together leads you to your next business and your next opportunity and your next opportunity because it was just a few days ago that I added my next layer to my multiple streams of incomes and I'm gonna share it with you, so stick with me. Okay, so this is the 95% of people in the world live on this side of what's called the fence, okay? And then this side, 5% live on. 5% of people in the world make it over here. Now let's talk about the money before I break it down how it works. 95% of the people in the world share in 5% of all the money made in the world. All the money made in the world, okay? Where 5% of people share in making 95% of money in the world. 95%. Of money. Do you know that the average person does not make $100,000 a year only because they don't know how? And I'm going to introduce you to where those people are. They're right here. These people are called employees. E. Employees. They trade their time for money. Time for money. Meaning, one dollar for one hour, dollars per hour. This is where we all are supposed to start out in life when we're young teenagers. We're supposed to be babysitters, work at the little local store, be the bus boy at the restaurant, bag the groceries. Our kids start here so that they can learn the habits of the job. They learn how to show up, they learn how to get told what to do, they learn how to start interacting with customers, they learn how to do whatever the boss tells them to do and not argue about it. This is where most people start. And what happens is most people stay there. They stay there. They don't keep going through the process to say, you know what, I want to move on with being an employee and I want to become self-employed. Okay, so this is the next step. Self-employed. Now, self-employed, you are still trading your time for money, but at least here you get to be your own boss. You get to tell yourself when to show up. So, for example, here I used to work at a salon for a boss. He told me when to show up, 
I worked and I got a piece of what I did and he got the rest of it. I got paid a little bit and he got a lot. And then I said, enough of this, I'm out of here. And I went and I became my own boss. I leased a chair in a salon and I put my customers in that chair and I got to keep all my money. But here's the deal. Yes, I made more money, but I was still an employee. I was my own employee. I still had to show up in order to make money and I was never going to be able to retire. These people rarely retire because they're using their hands. If you have to use your hands to create the income, and if your hands are not present to create the income, the chances of you retiring are very slim because the transaction has to stop. And if you're getting paid an hourly wage, the hourly wage doesn't pay you enough to be able to get ahead. But these people rarely make millions. These people are the paycheck to paycheckers. They're the ones who have a hard time getting ahead and retiring. So along the journey, as the people that are growing up, this is the journey of becoming an entrepreneur. You start here, you move here, and then you move over here. Okay, and this is business. And this is where you learn leverage. Leverage. Leverage means that you have these people working for you. So in, in the beginning, I was a hairdresser. I worked at a salon. I said enough is that and I went and became my own employee or my own employer and employee. And then I burned myself out. I was exhausted. I said, I got to figure out how to duplicate myself, how to create leverage. Leverage is getting the works of other people's hands to work for you. So then I became a business owner and I started training people to work for me. One by one, I trained them how to shampoo, blow dry, do all that sort of stuff. And I started hiring another one and another one and another one and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and this is where I made my first millions of dollars in here, because I had 49 of these people working for me, 49 of those people working for me. That is leverage, but here's the thing with leverage. I still couldn't retire. I still couldn't travel the world. I still couldn't go home and raise my own child because I had to be present. Leverage is getting the efforts of other people's hands to make you money. That's great, that's wonderful. But when there's nobody there, no customer sitting in the chair and no employee behind the chair doing hair, there's no transaction being made. Think about any business that you have. If it's a transaction that needs to be created, created with your hands, it can't stop. You need the customer to keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. And therefore, once that is severed, there's no more transaction. Okay, then I learned this. The journey continues to here. And this is investor investor now what you invest in is what's important now over here is where I made millions and millions of dollars over and over again made it lost it made it lost it lived great life fell down climbed my way back up did it again fell down climbed my way back up did it again why is it easy for me to do this because I understand how money moves and then I understand residual income. The residual income is money that works for you over and over and over again. And I'm going to use an analogy that everybody can relate to. This guy right here, cell phones. You know how when you go to the mall and there's the kiosk in the mall and it says Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T? Those are franchises. Somebody young learned about residual income and learned that cell phone kiosk franchising is a way to go because every time you sell a cell phone to a customer, 
and they sign up for a two-year contract, you're going to get paid every single month that they make that bill. That's residual income. Having vending machines. When I was young, I used to own vending machines, and I used to have them in businesses around the town where I was, and we would fill them all up with sodas and stuff. That's residual income. Every time somebody buys a soda is residual income. In our home, we all have residual bills. My electric bill is going to come every month regardless if I want it to come or not. So is my water bill and my trash bill and my rent. We all live on residual bills, but we don't make residual income. When you learn to make residual income that matches your residual bills, then now your time is free. You don't have to be anywhere and do anything that somebody tells you to do because you've got money coming in while you're living, okay? And so in this sense over here, you can't make money while you're sleeping, okay? You, have, you can only make money while you're awake. So therefore, you have to work while you're awake instead of live while, you, while you're awake. You have to live around your work. Where over here, you're making money while you're asleep. Not here, here. You're making money while you're asleep. And some people buy apartment buildings. A lot of realtors will invest in homes, Airbnbs, that's residual income, okay? Money that pays you over and over and over again. Those are good investments. Now, I'm going to show you how I have built my businesses and how they became to be over this last four or five years and how I'm constantly attracting because of my knowledge of what I know and what I have my eyes on. I've always been a coach and a consultant, always. In the salon days I was, and I did that for years, I would teach people how to reinvent their salons to become high-end salons. And all I taught them to do was how to treat clients better. And believe it or not, in my salon days, I, I, there's an award back here, right here. This award right here, Salon Today Top 200. I want you to think about this award for a minute. To be in the top 200 fastest growing salons in the country is a big deal. I didn't inherit money. I didn't buy a salon from somebody. This was a kid who dropped out of school, finished on paper, went to beauty school, got a job, and quickly got onto building her own business. When I was young, I read the Guinness Book of World's Record and I learned the number one salesman, Joe Girard, his claim to fame was he hand wrote thank you cards to all of his clients. He celebrated his clients. He would send like 40,000 cards a year. And that was his claim to fame. And when I went in to start my own salons, I did not have money for advertising. I sent cards. This is back way before I ever heard of send out cards. I did, I'd never heard of send out cards. And send out cards has been around for 16 years. So my salons were way before that. Send out cards wasn't even born yet. But boy, if I would have known about it, I would have used it. Anyway, I, I sent cards. I built relationships with my clients. Now listen, this is what I'm, I really want you to get this. My salon was not a salon, it was a school. I was a school. I was an apprenticeship salon. I was the educator. They did not step foot in beauty school. I taught them everything they knew. So what did that mean we were doing on a daily basis? Frying hair, bad haircuts, wrong hair color, redo after redo after redo after redo after redo after redo. How did we climb to the top 200 fastest growing salons in the country with the highest prices to get your hair highlight and color to our salon? Why did people stick with us through all that? Because of the way we made them feel. So take that and set it aside because that's part of my journey, okay? So during building my salons, I learned how important it was to treat people. Then I learned about this thing called residual income. I had never heard of it before. When I got started in my first network marketing company, it was for dish network. It was for internet. It was for cable. It was for bills. Back then it made sense. And so when I started signing people up on these accounts, and then I was like, wait a minute, 
I'm going to get paid every time that they pay their bill? Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Every time they pay their bill, I'm going to get paid? Well, these are bills they're going to have for the rest of their life. Are you serious? And I was like, oh my gosh. And it was right. It was true. I got paid off of all these bills, tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of bills. And I built a network of over 42,000 people all over the country from a customer telling a customer, telling a customer, telling a customer, telling a customer. I didn't go find all those people. It was like my salon. A few hairdressers went out and built a clientele. Same thing. A few people went out and built a clientele in the network marketing business space. So then that company goes away because telecom goes away. Okay? That businesses come and go all the time as the world evolves. Then the health and wellness boom comes up and I jump right onto the health and wellness boom and I get in a health and wellness company. And I did very well in that company. Built, built, great product, shared it, didn't have a problem, super healthy. And then that company had its issues and that company got shut down. So then four and a half, five, four and a half, five years ago, here I am broke again. This time I'm going to step into the next chapter of life with a heck of a lot more wisdom than I had before. And this time I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to build multiple streams of income and I don't know what they're going to be in. I had no clue. I got started in this company send out cards four and a half years ago and that's all I had. I learned from my past journey that nothing matters more than relationships. Success of anything, whether it's an opportunity, whether it's a referral from another friend to your business or an introduction of a friend from a friend, anything, a job, you name it, it's sandwiched between two relationships, the referrer and the person or the person and you relationships. That distance between the two is what separates who goes to who. What it's doing for my daughter is priceless because it's teaching her how nothing matters more than building relationships. Because you guys, at the end of the day, that's all I do. All I do is focus on building relationships. Systems, tools, services, anything that has to do with Connecting people together, I want my hands in because I want to diversify in building relationships. So send out cards is the core foundation that holds together all my networks. Send out cards is the tool that anybody in life needs if you want to go build a network so opportunity comes your way. When I got started in send out cards, I didn't have the businesses that I have today. I didn't travel like I did today. I didn't have the friends around the world like I have today. But because I send cards to celebrate people's life, it takes me from my head to my from people's head to their heart and it turns me from a business person to a friend. All I have to do is build relationships. I don't have to pitch. I don't have to sell. I don't have to try and ask people for business. It comes to me on a daily, non-stop basis because of how many cards I sent. So I start sending cards four and a half, five years ago. And then I start receiving cards and I start receiving invites and I start receiving opportunities and I start receiving referrals and meeting all these great new friends and it's filling my life with abundance. And then along the way comes opportunities. Okay, so as I was building, I then needed a way to be able to connect with people on a digital way, on a digital format way and I had found a company that allowed me to be able to connect with customers by sending information to their phone. I wanted to send information of how I could help them and that stay connected that way. I didn't even realize it because I only used the service that I am at the top rank in that company and didn't even realize it. And then came along where I personally was getting so busy I needed help. I needed help to be able to do some work because I needed to get my cards out, I needed computer systems built. I knew that I wanted to create a, a, a system where people were going to be touched forever without me using send out cards, but I didn't have the mind space. I didn't have the, the knowledge of how to do that technical stuff. I'm not techie, believe it or not. So I hire a friend to say, can I hire you to work for me for a few hours? And that evolved into a business. Now we have customers all over the world 
and VAs all over the world that are working and servicing and helping these people set up their systems, like big realtors and mortgage brokers and businesses that understand the importance of human connections, that understand, especially right now with what's happening in the world, that they need to touch their clients in a heartfelt way, that advertising is changing, that it's getting nearly impossible to afford advertising, and that advertising isn't emotional. People don't like to be sold. They like to be cared about and appreciated. And these top business owners are understanding that, and they pay for people to help them set up their systems. So now this VA business is flourishing and growing. The other business is flourishing and growing because it's a network of people that are using it and sharing it and using it and sharing it. Every single person that comes into my life, whether they come in through the virtual assistant or they come in through my coaching, if they've never used send out cards or even heard of it, they eventually do get it and use it and flourish because that's what Send out cards is the missing tool that people need to hold their networks together and to attract people into their life and to put love out in the world in a time when love is so needed because it's very hard to maintain a large relationship on a personal level. That's what send out cards does. That's what the VAs help those companies do with their send out cards. That's what the coaching program does. The coaching program teaches people this mindset so that they can learn how to become an entrepreneur, learn how to connect, better their marriage and better their relationships. And, and so now recently, it, I love to do webinars and you know me, I do these all the time. And when I started, I started with the free platform, the free one, because, you know, I didn't know how to use Zoom. I just started using it and, and I was on the free one. And then I got really good at it and I wanted to start doing webinars, which is what we're on now. So I upgraded and it was $40 a month. I think I paid $299 and $40 a month and that was fine. And I used that for a long time. And then I, then Zoom, then when the pandemic came and Zoom blew up, they changed a lot of what they provide, what you got for the price that I was paying and took away a few things. And one of those things they took away was the ability to call tech support. I used to call tech support all the time. Tech support for me, I need tech support. They're like my employees that work for me because I don't know how to do half the stuff that I do. I, I need somebody that knows how to do that stuff because I believe in leverage. I believe in having people do things for you that they can do so I can have my time to do what I do, to be creative. I started doing now these trainings and you can get a hundred people in your web room and that's it. You can't do more than a hundred. Well, I was maxing out my hundred, so I needed to upgrade for the event that we did last weekend and it was $150 to upgrade. And I'm like, I am not going to pay $150 a month for this platform. I know there's got to be a better plan out there to get the same thing because I knew people that were paying less than I was paying. I knew it because I had, I was always asking people, how much do you pay for Zoom? How much do you pay for Zoom? How much do you pay for Zoom? And how many seats do you have? And what is it, you know, I would ask people all the time. So I appointed one of my VAs to go figure it out. I said, listen, she's a techie girl, techie lady. I said, I want you to go searching and I want you to ask people. I want you to interview. I want you to go dig. And I want you to find me this for cheaper because I've met people who have it for $12 a month or $19 a month. I've met them. So I want you to go find them. And she did. She found it. I now have the highest plan you can get. I have all the bells and whistles. I have unlimited tech support, 500 seats on a web room. It transcribes every single uh, webinar for me so I can have the transcription to put up on training pages. I have unlimited cloud. Do you realize how valuable unlimited cloud is? I even had to buy a new laptop because my other one got so full and then I was to the point where I was picking and choosing who to record. Now I don't have to. I can record everyone and use them for my trainings because I have unlimited cloud. And you would never believe how much I'm paying a month. I'm paying $12.99. $12.99. I told her it's too good to be true, and I didn't want to tell anyone about it until after I had already signed up, got it connected, and was using it, 
and I'm using it right now. Flawless, seamless, instant, nothing had to be started over. I am here to tell you I have the best pricing. So it just so happens right up my alley that it's an affiliate program. So that opportunity fell in my lap because of me building networks, okay? And it's a human connection tool. It's all part of my human connection toolbox. People need to connect today on the internet, like I'm doing right now. This is how people connect. So this is why I have my hands in this. Now here's something cool that you don't realize. My VA is also in my coaching program. I'm teaching her how to attract and manifest and get her mind into entrepreneurism. I've already gotten her out of her job. She was able to quit her job. Now she's an entrepreneur. I'm teaching her how to have the mindset of mindset to attract opportunities in her life. Here's what happened. She also got to sign up in that company when she discovered it, and she's the one who introduced it to me, and she signed me up. So have you ever heard someone say, how would you like to have Darla on your first level in your network marketing business? Well, that's exactly what she has. It hasn't even been 48 hours, and she's already gotten two paychecks. So for those of you that are trying to figure out right now, what can you do to make a living? What can you do to make money? That is the position that I was in 11 years ago, 12 years ago, 2008. When I sat down and looked at network marketing for the first time, I said, how fast can I get a paycheck? And what do I need to do to make money? And when they said one week, and I don't need a degree, I don't need any special skills, I don't need to go to school, I don't need to pass a test, all you have to do is introduce it to somebody else and let them decide if it fits in their life or not. I was like, sign me up. That decision went on to bring me to where I am today, you guys. A life that I never thought possible. I did not know it was possible to be able to retire and live. I didn't know it was possible to be able to live anywhere you want to live and still make money. I didn't know it was possible to be able to make more money than you can ever make in a job without having to go to school and get a degree and learn any skills. I'm telling you, this is the time in the world when it's time to do something different. Add multiple streams to your, to your life. How many people in the world do you know right now that are building relationships, building a network, doing it online, and doing it digitally? All of those companies that I have encompass that because it's about human connections. But I love teaching and I love coaching and I love helping people to be able to bring their dreams to life. I want you to believe in you enough that you'll at least try because that's the thing. If you don't try, you're going to stay right where you're at. And if you don't do this for your family, who's going to do this for your family? Who? You can't lie, rely on an inheritance or the government to take care of you, you have to do it. Multiple streams of diversified residual income. That's the answer. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.